know they got the chop from work, like, because of me immaturity. I you know they got sat from work. I work in like a call centre, I work in like a loyalty team in a call centre. People call up, they moan about the price, I give them a better price, we all move on with our lives, right? Very <laughs> standard stuff, right? Now, my immaturity you nearly know, got me the chop because I'm always stuck between what I should do and what I do do. <laughs> do do. <laughs> that got me in very serious trouble. I was uh, in work and I was having standard conversations, not having prices, better price, thank you for the better price, so I'll move on. That was until I got a customer come through called Kevin. He was a decorator. He called up and he said, I'm not happy with my price, it's gone up 50 pounds. I want your best price. I said, I'm sorry to hear that, Kevin. I can see you're a loyal customer. I'll give you 30 pound off. Now what he should do is politely accept or decline the offer and move on. But what he did do <laughs> was test my patience. <laughs> He said, oh, so it I just takes a phone call for you to lobby your price. I want your best price first. Why does it take us to call you up to give a better price? You're ripping people off. I want your best price first. Now, what I should do <laughs> is apologize. But what I did do <laughs> was patronize. <laughs> I said, Kevin... You've called up the loyalty team. You've asked to be put through to the loyalty team. You've asked for a better price. I'd give you a better price. You've negotiated yourself a better deal. That's how business works, Kevin. You're a decorator. You're a decorator, Kevin. Surely in your career you've given someone a quote. They're not happy with the quote. You've come back with a better quote and you've got the business deal. That's how business works, Kevin. Have you ever watched The Apprentice? And he said, because of your attitude, I'm going elsewhere. One nil me. <laughs> now what he should do is accept the defeat and move on. But what he did do was get his own back. The next day I came into work, I found out Kevin I'd put a complaint in with my manager and the financial ombudsman that left me on a disciplinary and a suspension. One all. <laughs> now what I should do is accept it as a draw, accept my punishment and move on. What I did do, <laughs> got its details. <laughs> Give Kevin a little ring. I said, hello, is that Kevin? He said, yes, it's Kevin. I said, Kevin, I'm looking for a quote for two bedroom house, living room and dining room. I want your best price. He said that would be 350 pound. I said, I can't do 350 pound. Can you do 320? He said, yes. I said, well, why can't you give me your best price first and reported him to trading standards? <laughs> two, one. Now, what I should do, <laughs> what I should do is delete Kevin's number <laughs> and delete him from my life. <laughs> but he did do a great job of the house, and uh, <laughs> I'm not one to all grudges. Uh, you all got adapter people, adapted 